he does play Cloud, but I mean, I know Martha's like one of his favorite characters, but he keeps trying to make it work and it's just not working. I'm glad he stopped doing that. Yeah. And you know, most Marth players just play it because they know they're not going to win. Yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. so we're moving in to game number one of the tournament here. It's going to be Jigglypuff against Lucina. Now, definitely this is a Lucina favorite matchup. Like, there's oh, no yeah. doubt about it. Like, almost in like every single game, like even in Melee, like Marth still had the, the slight advantage due to like his range, but Sin, Relatively to play very defensive and just wait for High Bazu to really mess up like an aerial input and then find his way in. But High Bazu, he's not the guy to really mess it up and he's looking for a window of every oh, oh, up to into the rest. It's just going to be a big forward smash. It only at twenty percent, so it's not going to kill. Mm -hmm. But I mean, still, that's mental damage for Sim because you know the one thing uh, he's really known for here in SoCal is being V Puff with the confirms. Oh. Um, out of all the the few that we have here, he's definitely the one that has like the best like lab timing confirms uh, and he'll hit them on you too so yeah. I mean uh, he's got to be careful though because remember if Jigglypuff does break half her shield broken she instantly dies no matter what percent and High Buzzer has been using that as a threat and Roll actually being used successfully I didn't haven't seen that in a while and Sin doing a really good job I love his aerial movement he's really tricky in the air and he tried to cut off the recovery with the Nair but unfortunately and he gets actually reversaled so High Buzzer getting his first stock taken Sin doing a really good job so far yeah, he kind of just tried to run off, hope Sin would go low, but Sin, using all of his jumps, able to go up there, dodge it. But now that's a big punish for Smash out of Shield. Yeah, that was a really good attempt, trying to catch it, but thankfully, Hype Azu, you know, holding a shield out, playing really patient. A lot of characters will immediately drop shield, seeing that you land up there, but a nicely placed up. F tilt and Hype. Hype Azu is really having some trouble finishing the stock at 147. Sin doing a really good job delaying. He's seeing, like, if Hype Azu goes a little too deep, he can get hit off and. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Okay, a little bit of an overextension yeah. from Sin there. Azu just keeping the hitboxes out, making it as difficult as possible. Oh! There's the confirm. <laughs> Even I, Azu's smiling, right? He's like, yeah. That's what, we were, that's what I was talking about. He has those on lock, the drill, looks for the pound afterwards. Pound up air, he doesn't land. If he was able to land oh on the platform, God. that could have been it, but. That could have been a better punish. Like I feel like, like, yeah, for sure. Uh, side B, not the most damage Azu could have got there. He's looking for a fastball. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sleep on him. Sleep on him. <laughs> he missed the up end. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's he alive. needed the up end. He's alive. Oh, my God. Yeah, even even our like, putting his end down. And, oh, my God. Type Azu. Azu. He's, getting, he's getting, like, flowered right now. I mean, like, I understand, Azu. Like, it don't feel too good. Like, you get rested on, and you're, like, still alive. And you're like, damn, I'm a, a whole stock down. He's trying to get an edge guard down, but the Nair is beating it out. And the roll even being used. Sin doing such a good job, man. So yeah. stock the thing about Roller is it's not a great move, but because of how much shield damage it does, it can break your shield, so you have to respect it and just go to the platform and kind of take a reset mm -hmm. whenever it's used. <sighs> yeah. That back air will take game number one. Sin looking pretty solid there. Uh, even if his rest in the end didn't kill, he was able to close up the game. Yeah, it looked like it looked like some Street Fighter. Like, he canceled his up air into a rest. Like, it was, like, halfway through the animation, and he immediately went, went for the rest. But, unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to get the, the stock off of that, but Azu was unable to really get much off in that scuffle in the first game. Goes to Sin, like, man, like, rests don't feel good, like, when you get hit by them, regardless. Yeah. I feel like I'd like to see Ozzy going for the charge shield breakers uh, as a punish. I'm not sure what the damage difference between F Smash and that is, but the uh, pressure then comes if he holds it and Sin's able to get out of the rest and he shields, that's an easy stock because if Jigglypuff sure. shield breaks, they instantly lose their stock. Like, you can even do, like, I assume Naira did this a couple times, he does the back part of down smash. Like, that's also a potential punish yeah. at, like, certain areas. But Azu definitely trying to come up with a plan right now because, uh, like, he's being beat in his aerial game. That, like, yeah. Lucina should be so dominant for. And he's getting beaten on that. Not only that, like, even when he's grounded, he even gets mixed up and he actually has a struggle going here. But hopefully in this one, higher ceiling, so, you know, less, uh... And Sin's immediately taken yeah. to the skies here. Maybe it's hungry boxy moves. He's stalling near. The thing is, Azu really has to try and challenge him. Sin knows that he has the lead off of game number one going into this. Mm -hmm. uh, so Azu is likely to commit to trying to get an early lead on this game too. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's doing such a good job, like crossing up with his little errors too. Like even though like how good like the up tilt is, like even though he can cover from behind, it's still vulnerable to being crossed up. In these scenarios, and Ozzy's having a hard time dealing with it. He's not, now he's starting to swing a lot of aerials, knowing that he can contest it using his disjoints. And Sin, he's just biding his time. He's just trying to find like that one situation where he can go for a fastball up, up air into a rest, and patiently waiting. 
All right, the up tilt catches the landing. I like the mm -hmm. turnaround one as well. Outspaces Sin landing arrows. And now Azu has the lead, which means Sin can't commit to his air camping. Anymore. Yeah, no, this is exactly what he needs to do. Like, he grabs the lead, and then he forces Sin into the air. That, that's one of the most disadvantaged situations in Smash Ultimate, especially against Ooh. Lucina. But the back air, the raw back air, I should say, trying to use that Nair as a lingering hitbox, but oh, no, he's dead. And that was looking so good for Azu. Doesn't get the forward smash. Mm -hmm. It was too late on it. Remember, there is a big distance between like the actual like landing platform, like yeah. where you spawn, and how like how much distance it is to the stage. And unfortunately, he misses out. But he's got to take a stock fast. He can't be a repeat of game number one, where he gets slowly whittled down, slowly until he was like 100, and then finally gets a stock. But then by that time, it was way too late. And Sin just playing the patient game. Yeah, Sin's definitely <laughs> looking to just kind of ice Azu in between these games. So that could be a rest. No, he doesn't get the drag down cancel. I don't think it was at rest percent, like, at that point. So I think at, like, around, like, 40, 50, like, maybe he wants to go for it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Azu actually traded with the dare. Not sure if he recognized it. Maybe he thought he'd have to tech or something because he air dodged down there. But, yeah, it looks like the, it really started work on Azu. You know, he was had a good game plan for the first stock, but now he's got the lead, or he's got the deficit. It's really starting to, you know, add up against him. Yeah, it's starting to crumble. Sure, he finally gets the F tilt, but being a whole stock down, he's got like a play like a perfect lead done. And it's starting off getting hit with that bear. Uh, it's not looking too good against Sin because he just waits on the platform. Like it, it's really funny because like those platforms were seen as one of like the worst positions in like on the stage. Like you don't want to be on that platform because you have to retreat backwards. But the fact that he's in a lead already like makes it so that he can go for any. Okay, Azu, position. this is your punish. It oh, does kill. Okay, yeah, Azu's back go. in the game just a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is definitely more doable than last time. He gets the up tilt, but unable to change anything. And I'm surprised. Sin has been going for a lot of shields, and I'm seeing no grabs. Like, he should be I able feel to like, him. I feel like Azu's aware of spot dodge rest. That's true. Uh, if he commits to a dash grab and Sin spot dodges it, Sin wins the game. And also Sin, like, definitely, like, when he got that parry, that could have been into a rest, but since he knows he's in his last stock, yeah, there's, like, just, more risk to it. I feel like we won't see the rest from Sin anymore in this mm. game, and that's something Azu is definitely going to take away from it. Oh, that's really good. He gets his edge guard, but he's going to go immediately high, but he's running out of jumps in the back here. The wrong one just hits Azu, and he's still alive, thankfully, but he gets the reverse. Oh, he has these. Uh, and Azu's laughing at himself. He knows he messed up. If he had got the dare, he would have been up too. But, you know, he 